there's bad news and there's good news. The bad news is you are falling. The good news is there is no bottom. Got that? The bad news is you're falling. Good news is there is no bottom. Think about that and feel that for just a moment. Feel the relief of that. And now think about this parable and this funny kind of <laughs> thing that the Irish say. An Irish man is not drunk if he can hold on to a blade of grass and not fall off the face of the earth. An Irish man is not drunk if he can hold on to a blade of grass and not fall off the face of the earth. Just to picture that for a moment. Imagine yourself falling off the face of the earth into outer space, holding on to a blade of grass, <laughs> and it's just slowly like eking out of the earth. And now you have fallen off the face of the earth and you're floating, you're falling, but there is no bottom and you are clinging to this blade of grass. Okay? We all have these blades of grass that we're clinging to because we think it's making us safe, right? I know I have mine. So now feel yourself here now in this space, falling, but there is no bottom, floating in space, clinging to a blade of grass that is not going to save you, but is bringing you comfort. And what does that blade of grass represent for you? I was talking with some friends last night and we were talking about um, the times when we leave our phones at home. When, oh, I'm going to go on a walk or I'm going to go to the store, I'm going to do this thing and I'm not going to bring my phone. And that I know for me, I have these moments when I'm like, but can I? Can I leave my phone at home? Like, is that even legal? <laughs> right? It's just become such a part of me. And we can do this with anything, whether it's our phones or social media or whatever that is. We can do it with people. We can do it with our own trauma, with our own stories, with our own histories, that we cling to these things that we think are somehow going to comfort or save us. But really, it's just a matter of letting them go. And that's the hardest part, right? When we're clinging, when we're finding comfort in in like a blade of grass, as if like we can shelter ourselves with this tiny little thing. We've just been holding on to it for so long that it's almost like our hands have become stiff around this thing that can't save us or really do anything for us. And true freedom comes. True freedom comes when we can just do this simple act of letting go. and realize that we don't need to be saved. We don't need to be fixed. We don't need to try to grasp or cling to anything because we're falling, but there is no bottom. So I don't know who this is for today, but I do know that these things bring me great comfort. And this is something I meditate on often. So, let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you feel about this bad news and this good news and what are you clinging to that you could let go of that's not actually, actually bringing you true safety, true comfort, true beingness. I'm Jessica Amos. I'm a meditation teacher. I'm a transformational life coach and I'm the founder of Stay With Yourself, which is the practice of being who you are, where you are, right? And that's what all of this is about being our authentic selves, being ourselves in this moment as we are. I'm sending you so much love today. I'll talk to you soon.